Welcome to the first part of my Linux Bash scripting tutorial guides. So for this video I'm just going to focus on the real basics of getting hello world to appear. But hey, you've got to start a programming language from somewhere. So I'm also so I'm going to cover how to create a Linux Bash script and how to run it. So Bash scripting is really about terminal commands. So the default terminal in most Linux distros is Bash, but I'm not going to overcomplicate things, but there are numerous other ones. So any, any command you type in here will be the same as if you typed it in a script. So echo hi is going to say hi. There's some other ones like if you want to remove a file, rm, the file name, I don't have anything in there, that folder at the minute, cp, copy, 3-m, you know, just, <laughs> just showing that various commands work. So if you want to test out a command, whether it's working or not, that's where you can do it. But there are some more complicated ones later which will cover, which will cross over numerous lines which are more difficult to enter in the terminal, but they are kind of possible. <laughs> so to create a script you just need to open it in a text editor. You can use your favourite one here because there are numerous, you've got nano, v, gedit, kate, you know, whatever, there's loads of them. So just pick a text editor and we'll start work on it. So I'm opting for creating my script via the GUI. So I opened up Nautilus, so right click, create new document, empty document, and according, I'm going to call it intro.sh. Open it up, which by default here in Ubuntu opens it up in gedit. So to start off a bash script, you have to type in this line, hash explanation mark, forward slash bin, forward slash bash. If you want to write comments in a script, precede them with the hash key and then you can type anything here so you could say my first script put a version here so 0 0.1 then we're going to simply type echo hello world now you can also put a comment here so hash right on screen and that's it. Save it and we'll go and run it. So to run a bash script, type in bash and the name of the script, intro.sh. And there it is, hello world. Now it's all fun and well if you want to run a script like every now and again. But if you want to run it more often, you can make it executable. So there's a few methods of doing that in Linux. So you could do it via the GUI, you could just right click on the file, go for properties and permissions and just tick that box there. Execute, allow executing file as a program. If you want to do it via the terminal, you could type in chmod. Uh, there's a few ways here, isn't it? Plus X is one of them, I think. But I'm going to go for 755 and intro.sh. You can read up on the internet about those numbers, but that just means read, write, execute for user who created the file then read and write for any other user. So that's it. And then if I want to run the file, go type in dot forward slash intro dot sh. And there you are, it runs it that way. 